Hi, everyone. Um, first off, thank you for speaking with Queen V Latina today. Um, so my first question is for the both of you. Um, hopefully unbiased. Um, are you, were you team Hunter or Marcus? Um, I feel like this feud between the two guys was kind of like the Netflix equivalent to like team Edward versus Jacob. <laughs> That's true. That's it true. is. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be nice and say team Felix, team That's Marcus. Um, just because, I mean, that first connection is everything and it was just so iconic and spectacular. So I'm team Marcus. I wish I could be unbiased in this, but I, 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 I just can't. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my character. I have to, I'm team Marcus. But Hunter's very sweet. Not bad. No, I'm Hunter's very Marcus. sweet. I'm team Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for your honesty. Next question is for Donna. Hi. Uh, first, what a ride. Season two is amazing. Thank Loved you it. so much. Thank you. Uh, for if there was a next season, where would you like to see each? Uh, this, so this is for both of you. Where would you like to each see your characters go based on how this ending was? I think for Max, um, her life kind of always revolves around her current crush. Um, I'd really love for her to take a break from that and learn who she is on her own and be an individual and kind of take all that love she would give to someone else and give it to herself because that is important mm -hmm. and I want everyone to be able to do that. So that's where I would want her to go. <laughs> Absolutely. I think, you know, season two, we see a lot of growth with a lot of characters. We see them go through ups and downs. And what I would love for Marcus is for him to find some stability in himself and in the world around him i would love him to like grow and kind of be comfortable and kind to himself um which i think is quite hard for a lot of people to do um so i'd love yeah i'd love to say that self-love baby yeah that's right awesome thank you both next question is for amanda hi thank you so much for taking the time out to chat with us i'm amanda from guide for geek moms and my first question is for felix Yes. So this season, we, you know, it delved more into, you know, Marcus's character and uh, more the struggles of depression and everything he was mm -hmm. dealing with. And particularly what episode eight, well, we first got like a little surprise narrative from you, which was nice, but it was also a particularly hard, you know, episode to watch as he, you know, sinks more into that depression. And I was just wondering how it was for you, how that journey was to get into that mindset? It was, you know, it's such a fun challenge to kind of relate to and, and go as deep as, as I could with it. I think it's really important to kind of show young men that it's okay to struggle. And I think it's um, hopefully reflected truthfully and people can see it and feel, you know, validated. It was certainly validating for me to evaluate all of those things and, and look at, you know, how I was when I was 15, mm -hmm. how, uh, angry I was how upset I was and to kind of go back to that 15 year old self talk to that little boy and kind of like figure out what makes him tick and and hopefully you know take that experience and show it truthfully on screen um it's a challenge and it's it's certainly hard to be to be going that deep and your body doesn't really know the difference when you're going through that on screen I think mm -hmm. it's important to like go home and wash it off find a way to compartmentalize but that's hard it's always it's always a challenge so I was just really honored that they they you know gave Marcus that storyline and kind of showed how he ticks inside yes thank you I mean it was an emotional journey I had lots of tissue so <laughs> next question is for Clarissa all right so what was the most challenging thing about bringing the script to life Ooh, I actually have a good answer for this. You know what? Something that's very hard is when you don't agree with your character's actions. <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely had a lot of that this season. Um, I understand. I understand Max's anger. I am not a fan of how she chooses to handle it and how she chooses to deal with it. So that was kind of tricky. But at the end of the day, I love her so much. There's no one on this earth who loves her more than me. And I'm very protective of her. And um, again, it was just like really fun to see a different side of her and, and learn about that as I went. Uh, so that was the trickiest, but also <laughs> fun, a lot of fun. Yeah. 
I think the most challenging things are always the most rewarding because it means there's a, an element of risk and there's an element of like um, doing something that leaves you quite vulnerable. Um, so similarly for me, like doing those scenes and getting a bit deeper with emotion is always challenging and hard. Um, but it always is, it's the most rewarding when you get to see it reflected back on screen and hopefully uh, audiences see that too. We definitely did see that. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Next question is for Cami. Hi, Felix. Hi, Sarah. I'm Cami. I write for the Mama Diaries.com. So I absolutely love Ginny and Georgia. Um, I actually watch it with my mom. So <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's better than watching it with my kids. So I don't know how she feels about that. But uh, <laughs> so the um, when I reviewed season one, that is one of my most popular posts that I've ever written. So I, and I know that, you know, it was like number one on Netflix and it was just huge. So how does it feel to be part of something so big? It's an honor. Yeah. I mean, it's the biggest honor possible. I think shooting season one, we all kind of felt how special it was. And everyone was so passionate about their characters and about the show and the crew even like just visually, like everyone was just so excited about it. And I think that kind of shines through. And I think that's a big part of the reason why a lot of people connected to it um, because it's just fun and it's, and it's important and it and talks about really hard things, but does it in a, in a very palatable way. Um, but yeah, being part of something like that is just so special and yeah. getting to play characters that audiences relate to and love is, is a huge honor. Yeah. And I think to jump off that, like, because the first season was received so well and, um, it resonated with so many people I find like going into season two I found everyone was like dialed at 110 percent to really give it their all I mean everyone the actors the writers the crew wanted to do the best job possible because season one resonated so much and it really it shone through even just watching it I was like everyone is going for it and it's like it's a joy to watch it's like I, yeah I love it thank you both so much thank you Donna? So my next question kind of piggybacks off of what you were saying when you were responding to Clarissa about challenges and how sometimes your character would do something that you were like, wait, no. So I guess that's my question is what, what were you doing when you were reading it? You're like, wait, this is no, this is not what I want you to do, Max or Marcus or anyone. What, what are your favorite ones that stand out? I mean, for Max, really, the first half of the season, I'm like, girl. Gotta grab. <laughs> um, but again, like, I understand it. And so it's fun to, like, get into that headspace. Mm. Um, but definitely my, the hardest things for me were, were was seeing Max um, be upset with her friends and her anger at her friends. I mean, it's, in my opinion, warranted, but she's pretty vicious. <laughs> this little 15-year-old <laughs> is vicious. <laughs> Um, so that was definitely the hardest mm. reading those scripts and knowing I was going to have to look at people that I love and treat them poorly. Mm. That's never fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about the show is, is that these characters are flawed. They're not perfect people. And so you read it and you kind of go, ah, oh, why are you, especially Marcus in that he doesn't know how to deal with any situation appropriately. <laughs> um, you read it and you go, ah, oh, come on, dude. But that's what's the, so in, in, in important and exciting is that these these characters are real. They're real people who don't make the best choices, and the challenge is to to bring that to to screen with res, with responsibility and honesty. You both do a fantastic job. You're endearing, so that's a word that I would use with that. Thank you, Thank you so much. Next question is Amanda. Hello again. Well, this time my question is for Sarah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so like we were talking about, the show has so many, you know, uh, hard topics of depression and uh, self-harm and even murder, right? But your character is such a bright light through it all. I mean, even the first half of season two, I loved her. I'm Team Max. So. <laughs> oh Thank God. Well, you might be the only one. <laughs> we shall see. So was it like playing, you know, such a humorous character with all these kind of, you know, undertones, it's, darker undertones? Yeah, I would say playing Max has been the, one of the greatest honors of my life. I, mm -hmm. I can't emphasize that enough. I I don't take this role lightly and I, I am very proud of it. And, and 
uh, yeah, getting to play that fun, light energy against some really dark topics is also very important. I, I think one of my favorite things that our show does is it balances the light moments with the dark moments very well. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's very true to life because mm -hmm. I've been in sad situations and giggled and I've been in happy situations and then been hit with like sadness. And so I think all those emotions kind of walk hand in hand. And I love that our show tackles that. I also just think it's really nice to be able to laugh and smile on a set and get people giggling. Like one of yeah. my favorite things is like if we're filming something and I see someone's shoulders shake in the back because I know they're <laughs> laughing. It makes me so happy. <laughs> So yeah, it's just the biggest honor. I love Max. I do too. And her voices and all that, that she does. <laughs> Go team Max. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Back to Clarissa. So I know the show actually shot in Canada. What was that like? Well, no one can handle us our Canadian winters. That oh, is oh, what I like. I don't know why people live that far north. <laughs> yeah. Something it's so tough. cold. It's so brutal. Dev was like, uh, my fingers are blue. Why the hell do you live here? <laughs> um, it was, I remember it was December and it was 10 degrees. I don't know what that is in for Fahrenheit for all of you guys, but uh, everyone was like, it's freezing. And I was like, just wait till we get to February. Mm. Like you guys are going to lose your minds. Yeah. But we had a lot of people taking care of us. We had blankets, we had jackets. Everyone really brought it. So absolutely. It was fun. I mean, I live there, so I can say that. But yeah. I mean, Toronto is such a beautiful city. Like it's so nice to be able to come back and explore. There's so many good food spots. It's such a vibrant and multicultural place. I'd love returning to Toronto. Uh, on top of the fact that we were coming back and seeing all our old friends and getting to re revisit all these characters that we love. It's just such a it's a really joyous experience. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I go to UC Berkeley and it's like 50 degrees outside and I'm like dying because I'm so used to SoCal weather. So I feel you guys 100%. For sure. sure. I'm spoiled here. And then I go to Toronto. I'm like, oh, it's too cold. I, don't, I can't. I don't like it. Well, you did a great job. Ah. Back to Cami. So you guys, you work with such a, it seems like such a really fun cast. There's so many of you. And I was just wondering if, if you are ever able to do, do, I'm sure you do, but are there something, something fun you guys do when you're not working? Some like offset moments that you could share with us? Oh, you guys both looked at each other kind of like. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the hard thing is season two, we were shooting through COVID. So we weren't yeah. able to get together as much as season one. Uh, we did find moments here and yeah. there to found some still, parties yeah and then but you know season one we were big on karaoke so everyone got together and had some great karaoke moments mm -hmm. um so fingers crossed season three we'll do some more karaoke mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you go ahead donna karaoke that's awesome i was going to ask you what guys what songs you most liked but that's probably not movie related. <laughs> so um so sometimes, you know, when you're, when you're filming, you might have like a really strong feeling for where your characters should go and what's something that they should do. And did either of you have input enough on either of, of your roles where you, something was changed as a result of your feelings about what your character would or wouldn't do and like a change in the script? Um, for me, not at all. I mean, the, the, the storyline is squarely in the hands of Deb and Sarah and I trust them completely and implicitly that they have had things mapped out and they're so smart with where they put every character and give everyone kind of an arc to kind of live through. Um, so for me, it was just trusting and loving the writing that came, came for us every month. Yeah, I completely agree. I think if anything, if you were curious about why your character was making a certain decision, like I did that and I went to Deb and was like, why is she being so mean? <laughs> <laughs> and Deb was like, she's hurt. She's so hurt. And that's kind of what informed all of it. And they're always there to listen. They're always there to help. Um, they love the show so much. And, you know, hearing them talk about it and light up about it is is a real gift to have people that passionate working with you and leading you. So they're wonderful. And yeah, Good we point. tried our, we, we, we trust our writers like a thousand percent. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Next question is for Amanda. So this one is for either of you. <laughs> if uh, you could share any, I like to hear any like fun fact or behind the scene fun fact or blooper that you can share with us today. 
I I have a blooper. Say it. But I, oh, I can't. I can't wait. <laughs> I don't want to put Antonia under the. There's a scene where Antonia climbs through my uh, Marcus's window, and I, the only reason I can I can say this is because there's been so many moments where I have to climb through her window. I'm I'm not a limber man. <laughs> I can't climb through windows very well and it's a very small thing that i have to get through so she watches i if you watch it's never really they don't hold on me climbing through the window that often because mm. i'm trying to like get through it uh so it was really validating for me this season when when uh tony had to climb through my window and she just she went through and did like a parkour trip but like saved it with a forward roll and just like kind of popped up it was amazing and really validating for me. Oh my God, I just thought of one for me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had one where we were like passing the bong around um, mm. and I tried to take it and I like drooled. <laughs> it was like so <laughs> disgusting. And Mason was back and he went, ew. <laughs> it was I so love funny. That. You know, I wish that wasn't like on my coverage, but it so was. So I'm really what glad that they, they didn't put that in because that would have been embarrassing. It would have been funny. Well, thank you. Now I want to see some a blooper reel. Yeah, <laughs> I so, hope they do. I fingers crossed. Do. There's a lot of them. Alrighty, next question, Clarissa. All right. So, out of curiosity, who in the cast is most like their character? That's a great question. I wish I had a. What do you think? Jen. Jen is similar. Actually. I changed my mind. Colton. Colton, hundred percent. His character. He's so goofy. <laughs> and He's so, so sweet and so funny as well. Fever energy. Yeah. Absolutely. I love him. <laughs> I'm gonna I'd say Colton as well. Yeah, he's like cracking us up all the time. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. And our last question is going to be for Cami. So, do you guys have any takeaways or messages that you're hoping for your audience to walk away from when watching this? I think, you know, similarly to season one, I, I just hope audiences feel seen. I hope they feel heard. I hope, you know, they see themselves reflected on screen in, in a dramatic or interesting way. Um, that really is the goal. It's just to reflect people's experiences truthfully and honestly with a lot of drama and with a lot of excitement. So I just hope people uh, people take that away from, from when they watch. You couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I'm sure you could have. No. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. And if you go ahead and check your emails, you've been sent the link for Roundtable and BJR1. So you guys can go ahead and head there. Say your goodbyes and exit the Zoom. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.